building sustainably may no longer be an option, rather a necessity. That's because today buildings and the construction sector are responsible for nearly 40% of global final energy use and process-related CO2 emissions. In other words, it takes a lot of energy to heat, cool, light and maintain our buildings. And the process to build them in the first place is traditionally energy intensive. Did you know that concrete is the most commonly used human-made material on Earth? Producing cement, its main ingredient, causes around 8% of the world's total CO2 emissions. So, some intergovernmental agencies say the cement industry has to reduce its annual emissions by at least 16 per cent by 2030. Waste is another big problem. Construction and demolition waste can represent up to 40 per cent of solid waste produced in some cities. It's made of materials from excavation, roadwork and demolition, but also complex waste like plastics, metal, ceramic and cardboard. Construction has also caused some significant water and soil pollution incidents when debris, dirt, oil, paints and other harmful chemicals leaked into the environment. But a lot of construction materials can be recycled and reused. Some experts say that for any of this to happen, construction companies must be encouraged to separate waste on site and train their staff better. Of course, once constructed, ensuring that buildings are energy efficient is crucial. Energy demand in buildings has increased by 7% in just eight years. So the 2019 Emissions Gap Report says we must reverse the trend by improving energy efficiency in buildings at a rate of 2 to 3% each year by 2025. There are things we can do, from using sustainable materials, better waste management, and using energy from renewable sources, the buildings of tomorrow could be very different from those today.